Hello Commander. Welcome to Titan Outpost. The lander crashed after the parachute detached prematurely. The construction robot got you out there. Officer Grimes didn't make it. It was programmed to head to the landing site and open the hatch in case something went wrong. Something went wrong. You can use the comms panel to contact Chrono Station. Let me know if you need any help with it. I am the IASA Programmable Management System. Sexist how? You can change my voice settings if you want. IPMS is defaulted to but not limited to female settings.
inside again. Fortunately you are conscious this time. Your suit will keep you warm for a while. Once the battery runs out, you will start to freeze and eventually die. Some surfaces are more thermally conductive than others, so mind your step. You can keep an eye on thermal conduction on your heads-up display on the right. You probably have some time to walk around and explore, but getting communications back is our priority. The radio tower is on top of this hill. This is the research station. On the right side, you can select research topics to explore. You can only study one topic at a time. Research can enhance systems or unveil new construction options or scientific avenues. Completed research will appear on the left side of the screen. Saturn 6, come in Saturn 6. Saturn 6, please respond. You're alive! I'm glad you're still breathing. Well, where's Val? Hello, Commander. Glad to see you're alright. You'll have to forgive Carl. He was informed of his crimes. I'd already packed you both for dead because we weren't reading any life signs. Actually, we're not getting any data at all. We need to fix that problem. It will also improve our communications feed. I can barely hear you. Of course, you're right. Get some sleep. I, PMS, will help you get settled in. We'll talk when you wake up. Karen out. Please make yourself comfortable, Commander. Your bed is at the end of this hallway. You can contact me anytime if you need help. Just select my face below. Click on the clock to see the time elapse panel. You can see your sleep deficit in the top right corner. Pass time until your sleep deficit is zero and you are fully rested. The buttons say work, but don't worry. If you check the rest while tied option in the top right, I will schedule your nap time. When you're ready, talk to mission control again.
Congratulations on getting through your first night on Titan, Commander. I told him to pull himself together. He'll be fine. Spare the rod and spoil the chap. We can't afford his emotion to jeopardize the mission. I'm always serious. Time to get to work. The radio tower is on top of the hill the outpost was built in. I suggest you start there. Bring spare parts. I'm sure there's some lying around. Captain Norrins is correct, Commander. There are indeed some spare parts lying around. Check the inventory. I keep a ledger of the inventory. To get spare parts from the outpost stock, click on the outpost tab at the top. This is the outpost inventory. On the left, you can see the list of items in store. You can also see what is currently charging in the recharging station, what resources we have in stock and how much meten we have gathered. Select the spare parts from the list on the left. Good. Now select the transfer button below to bring the item with you. Good, I've updated the ledger. Why don't you grab some coffee as well? Transfer it. Now, go back to the inventory tab you are now carrying these items. You can process the spare parts into their base components for use in construction, but I would advise against that. You will likely need them. You can also transfer the items back to the outpost. Not all things can be transferred. Your personal wallet, for example, is not a tangible object and is tied to your personal data. Some items have special use cases. And some can be equipped or consumed. Coffee has both options. Before you consume the coffee, select the coffee and then try using it. You can try applying your various skills to this item or ask me about it by selecting the skill icons on the left side of the panel. When you're done, select the equipment tab to double check your suit before you head out. This is the equipment readout. As you can see, your T1 cold suit is completely stock and the battery is fully charged. Check back here if you modify your suit or equip special items. The same goes for the rover tag. There is one more tag but I don't have any current data entries to show you. You are now ready to go outside. The airlock is where you first woke up. Be careful out there. Rover is offline. Starting it up requires a command from Chrono Station. You will need to re-establish the connection first.
Use the motion control interface to climb the tower and see what is wrong, then try to apply your skills to the problem. If you can't fix it from here, you can always go back inside. I'm sure you will find another way to solve this. Use the motion control interface to climb the tower and see what is wrong, then try to apply your skills to the problem. If you can't fix it from here, you can always go back inside. I'm sure you will find another way to solve this. Job, Commander. Data link connection established. Now it's time for some real work. I'll let Carl fill you in. That's precisely what we need here. Optical and ultrawave connections don't work very well in that dense orange soup. <laughs> then what are you waiting for? Back to reality. Have you found her yet? Carl, priorities. Thanks, but Karen's right. We can't have you risk your neck to find what is almost certainly a frozen corpse by now. There's too much at stake. Good. You've got this. I've got other matters to attend to. So listen. We're here to harvest methane. For all their talk about research and exploration, the higher-ups were strict on our orders, and we've got quota to meet. Transcending humanity, my ass. There is an official exploration assignment on the roster, but it's way down on the list. I'm afraid we're going to have to follow protocol here, or Karen will have my ass. You're right. Polilia macula is a dark spot on the surface relatively close to the outpost. We're still not quite sure what it is, but it's probably an impact crater. Which means you'll have a good chance to find some heavier elements. We still know precious little about this moon and we need all the information we can get. Okay then, your first assignment is to set up a pumping station at the nearest hydrocarbon lake, Veolacus. Before we lost the data link, LTEM-1 was preparing a hydrokinetic pump for this. Finish constructing this pump and deploy it. You'll also need to dispatch a tank drone to the location. I'll patch through the coordinates. Now, about Veolacus. 
I've authorized your access to the rover. It can get you there in a few hours, and her fuel cells should have enough power for a round trip. But recharging it in the field while life support is active takes a long time. So try not to get stuck without juice. Oh, and bring some universal spare parts with you to hook up the pump. You probably need about ten. If you can't find any lying around, print them. Good luck, Commander. I have some orbital adjustment protocols to run through. Ask me again later. The hydrokinetic pump is 95% complete, but the construction system is currently unpowered. Go to the generator control panel. This is the control panel for the generator. As you can see, you don't have enough power to turn on all the systems at once. In order to power the construction system, you will have to disable something else. Try disabling communications. Good. Now you have a power surplus. Power on the construction system. Excellent. The construction system is now powered. Close the generator panel and go to the construction station. Now go to the construction station. Welcome to the construction station. This is where you can create items, build new base modules, or construct things on the surface. As you can see in the currently building panel on the left, the hydrokinetic pump is almost finished. On the right side, you can see what other items you can build with the currently selected system. The three systems can build simultaneously, but if you select another construction on the outside LTAM, the current project will be halted. You can experiment with this later. Be sure to read the manual by clicking on the question mark in the top right. For now, we need to simply, now, click on the clock to see the time lapse panel. Here, you can see an estimation of future events. You can wait for a certain while, or you can choose to wait until an event is estimated to occur, by clicking on the clock icon next to that event. While time passes, you can choose to work on something in the menu on the top right. Working on something will speed it up, depending on your skill level. Spending leisure time will increase your morale. Check the rest while type box, and I will schedule your nap time so you won't get fatigued. Try working on construction to speed it up, and then pass time, until the pump is complete. The pump is ready. Go to the logistical mag to place it. This map of Titan is where you can assign rooms, place pumps, and view information on locations you have marked on your map. The rover has a similar map that allows you to navigate Titan. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. You can rotate the map by right-clicking. To place the hydrokinetic pump, click on Fayar Lefkis. Here you can see more detailed information on the location you have selected. If it is a lake suitable for extraction, you can place pumps here. Deploy the pump by clicking on the button in the upper right corner. information panel. Now, you have to assign a drone to this location. Click on a drone in the top right panel and set waypoints. Good. Now set waypoints by clicking on the set waypoints button. Click on, at, waypoint. 
Good. Once more. You need two waypoints. One for the outpost and one for Fair Lechus. Excellent. You can drag the markers to the locations on the map or pick the locations from the drop-down menus. Make sure the first waypoint is set to Fair Lechus with wait for full tank enabled and the second waypoint is set to the outpost with wait for empty tank enabled. When you're done, click set waypoints. Splendid. The next step is to travel to Fair Lechkus and hook up the pump. Take some time to experiment with the outpost systems. The research station and the hydroponics grafting bay are in the southeast corner of the command center. When you're ready, go outside and enter the rover. Now set waypoints by clicking on the set waypoints button. Click on at waypoint.
Hello, Commander. There are many ways to improve the outpost. Your first priority. Make sure the hydroponics system is powered to generate food. If the system remains unpowered for too long, the hydroponics table in the command center is enough to feed you for a while, but you will eventually need to. You can gather resources in the field, but specialized polymers are hard to find, even on Titan. Steam crackers can reform hydrocarbons into light to form as useful. You can build a living area. Research has learned that the people function better when they can spend their leisure time in suit when more than two people live at Titan Outpost. You might require a dormitory. The RTG uses plutonium to generate electricity. You can increase power. New research will uncover new possibilities. Before you leave, 
you might want to turn the hydroponics power back on. If you leave it off for too long, the crops will wither and eventually die. We don't have any seeds in store. You might be able to acquire some, or get food rations elsewhere. It's your call. Naturally. It's your decision to make. I have noted some possible improvements in your mission log.
lockers is operational. Good job. On to the next leg. First shipment is due in ten days. The pumps use atmospheric pressure on the lake itself to operate. Throughput is limited to the size of the lake. Simulated tests resulted in a net energy loss. We tried. Remember, we've been here figuring this stuff out for years before you arrived. If you can come up with a better solution, be my guest. Change of plans. The first freighter isn't due until October, but the ship you arrived on is heading back here. I wasn't told. It's classified and I don't have clearance. Ask Karen when you get the chance. In any case, she will send you... Your next stop will be at Bay of Lacus. I'll transmit the coordinates now. There's only one drone for now, but we have two tanks built, so we'll be able to make more efficient use of that drone. You can always build more if you get the resources. IASA will send you more of the good stuff with every freighter, but you should make finding resources on site a priority. IASA has started an official investigation into the failed landing. I appreciate that. Karen says it's just a formality, that they don't really give a shit. Your ass is on tight and the mission is underway. That's all they care about. Yeah. I checked the logs more times than I can count. Lemerty checks out, everything checks out, but there's only so much I can do from 50,000 kilometers up. I'm counting on you. You're running this investigation, like it or not. Good luck, Inspector.